Hello there. My name is Peter Thompson and this DVD is about one of the, the myths of golf. The myths of golf are everywhere. I read them in magazines even now and they are very, very damaging. This myth of golf is about the length of the backswing. I've heard thousands and thousands of times the longer the backswing the further the ball goes. Even the faster the backswing, the further the ball goes. Those are both completely untrue. A longer backswing will not hit the ball further. In almost every single case, the shorter the backswing, the further the ball will go. I've got a little slide rule in my head about people I teach, and the longer the backswing, the higher the handicap, the shorter the backswing, the lower the handicap. The club hits the ball and the crucial thing is at impact is the speed of the club head and just as important is the angle you hit the ball at. So a long, long backswing will probably, not guarantee, but almost certainly will destroy the angle at impact. I'm going to show you on my computer screen three of my pupils and then you will see that by making the club go back less far, the ball actually will go further. And all my lessons are based on facts and theories, and I need to prove to everyone I teach that this is correct. The shorter the backswing, the further you hit the ball. But let's go and have a look. The first person I'm going to show you his name is Martin Young. Uh, and I'm going to split the screen into two. So the swing you see on the right is from a lesson given Oh, about a week ago, two weeks ago. Uh, we're now in March 2015. This was about two weeks ago. The one on the left was when Martin was playing off a handicap of plus one, which is a very good handicap. Top of the backswing, plus one. Top of the backswing, plus four. One of the best amateur golfers in the United Kingdom. The shaft angle on the left-hand picture is within five degrees of being parallel to the ground. And in the left-hand picture, the shaft angle is 40 degrees short of parallel difference of 35 degrees. What is important is that people realize that there's a 35 degree difference between the shaft angle at the top of the swing, but then there's going to be another 35 degree difference to get the club back to where it should be. So the difference now isn't 35 degrees, the difference is 70 degrees, which is a huge amount. It's also a quarter of a circle. So because the golf has gone back so far, and the arm is bent and the wrist hinge isn't quite right, when Martin comes down to hit the ball, which is there, plus one on the left, and now on the right, handicap plus four, we'll now measure the angle. The pitches aren't fantastically clear, but we can measure the angle quite easily. At impact, Martin has now got his left arm seven degrees past the golf club. And on the left hand picture, handicap plus one, which is a fantastic handicap. The shaft is now five degrees in front of the left arm. A difference of seven, 12 degrees. 12 degrees, I work on about three 
yards distance per degree, so 12 degrees, the difference is 36 yards. So the shorter backswing has produced a much, much better impact, so the ball goes further. Not only does it go further, it actually goes straighter because the club has gone back less far. In this lesson, again, this was in the middle of March 2015, Martin was hitting six irons, and at the end of our driving range, there were a couple of trees, and he was pitching the ball onto the trunk of the trees. So 180 yard carry with a six iron. So, less backswing on the right, a lot more on the left, difference being the impact position. More than 30 yards further, less backswing, the ball has gone further. So, one of my pupils, Martin Young. So, on the screen, shaft almost parallel to the ground, shaft 35 degrees less than parallel, and the ball goes more than 30 yards further, simply because there's more control and there's a much, much better impact. The distance is club head speed applied correctly. Club head speed applied that way, no good at all. Club head speed applied that way, Extremely good. So, Mr. Golf, longer the backswing, the longer the shot, simply not true. We'll go back onto my screen now. I want to prove yet again that what I'm saying is, is pretty factual. I tend to work on facts rather than theories. So, we'll split the screen. And this young lady played off plus three on the left, which is extremely good, very, very good. Played in the Curtis Cup. On the right, she is now a fully fledged gold professional on the Ladies European Tour. She's in the top 10 distance statistics, and she last year finished 20th on the whole tour. Brilliant, brilliant golfer. Let's have a look at the one on the left, where the shaft goes to. We're looking purely now at the shaft angle. Parallel to the ground, and on the right-hand picture, we'll go, back, we'll go back nice and slowly. End of the backswing. Shaft angle now, 25 degrees before parallel, on the left parallel, difference of 25 degrees, but she has to come back again, so the real difference is 50 degrees. 50 degrees loss of control. That impact, we now see the golf club is 14 degrees in front of the left arm on the right hand picture almost exactly the same place we now see the left arm and club more or less in a straight line two degrees forward so difference there of 14 16 degrees and that equates to about 40, 50 yards in distance. Impact is crucially important. At impact, the golf club should never go past the left arm until the ball has gone. And to achieve that, take the club back less far, more control. More control, more distance, better shaft angle, maybe the same club head speed, but a different impact. Plus three on the left, brilliant top 20 in the Ladies European Tour on the right. Fantastic impact position.
this had been taught to have the club parallel to the ground and many many people are taught exactly the same thing uh, there is no reason at all why the club should go back parallel to the ground there is no reason whatsoever I never teach it some people with some clubs some shots will have the club parallel to the ground but we shouldn't try and do it the back swing is for control a hitting position there's the hit very very good well done Liz so my lessons tend to be repetitive on purpose if I say the same thing to people quite often then they actually start to listen and learn and realize it's probably true especially when I show them pictures to prove it we'll see one more golfer in a second same problem he was taught shaft parallel to the ground with all clubs so you're going to see a swing of David hitting a five iron and guess what the club is parallel to the ground You'll then see his new swing with the club not parallel to the ground and he hits the ball much, much further, two clubs longer, and his handicap's gone down from five down to one. Less back swing, more speed applied to the ball correctly, and because the club head has gone back less far, there's more consistency, more control. You've seen some golfers already, and the difference between the shaft angle going up and down is 70 degrees. That's a huge amount. So you've lost control of the golf club by 70 degrees. It's almost a quarter of a circle. Control, hit. Let's look at one more and then hopefully be convinced that your backswing can go by less far and you can hit the ball much, much further. So here's David on the left, first swing, first lesson, one handicap on the right, his new swing. So five handicap on the left, one handicap on the right. And there's the club exactly parallel to the top of the screen. And there's the globe now on the right, not parallel. The angle is about 40 degrees short of parallel. 40 degrees times two, 80 degrees more control. Imagine that, 80 degrees more control. Now look at the impact position. On the right hand picture, left arm nine degrees in front of the shaft. On the left hand picture, the golf club is now eight degrees in front of the arm. 17 degrees difference, 17 times three is 50 yards. It doesn't quite work out exactly that way, but he will certainly hit the ball two or three clubs longer with the impact position on the right than the one on the left. It even looks better. If you didn't play golf and you were shown these two pictures and you were asked which one is, is the better golfer, you would say the one on the right. It just looks better and it is better. Fantastic. So it took me quite a while to convince uh, David that by going back less far, you'd hit the ball further. He actually didn't believe me. He said, that's impossible. If I go back further, the ball goes further. And now he knows that simply is not true. So, Mr. Golf, thousands of them. To repeat. 
the longer the backswing, the ball will not go further. Club goes about less far, more control. More control, better impact, better impact. The ball is then squashed against the face and flies off at the right angle. You've seen some good golfers hitting the ball with the shaft and leaning backwards. Well, that's no good at all. The shaft should be at best vertical or slightly leaning forward so you can drive the ball forward. This principle of longer backswings and shorter backswings works for all goal shots. Putting, short shots, chipping, pitch shots, longer backswing, less control. Shorter backswing, more control. So that's a great top tip. I hope you've enjoyed watching and listening and I hope you can to uh, incorporate this into your game. Shorter backswing, longer shots, guaranteed. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much.